Hello reception and welcome to a PE lesson at home. Hope you all had a nice break last week. So today's lesson we're going to be focusing on some throwing and we're going to be working on our accuracy. So for today's lesson what I need you to get are three items that you can throw safely in a safe area. So Mr Kavanagh has got a pair of socks and two teddies. So you need something that you can throw at home safely. So pause the video soon and that's what you will get. You will also need three pieces of paper or some kitchen roll that you can put down or a plate that you can put down on the floor. So I've got my three pieces and what I've done is I've written number one, number two and number three down on them. So if you can go and get your resources and equipment for today's lesson and pause the video please. Off you go, reception. Well done, reception, for getting all your equipment. So I've got my two teddies and pair of socks and I've laid out my three pieces of paper or your plates, whatever you want to use, on the floor. So if you can lay them out in an area like that. So our first little activity is we're going to try and throw from an area underarm nice straight arm and try and land or hit our piece of paper so i'm going to come to my target i'm going to use my socks first i'm going to keep a nice straight arm and i'm going to try and aim for number one with my pair of socks and hit it so i throw underarm and i hit my piece of paper so well done then i will go for number two and then i will go for number three and then pick them up, rearrange and have another go and spend five minutes practicing underarm throwing, trying to hit your target on the floor. So have a go at that please now, reception. Pause the video please. Great work reception, well done with your underarm throwing. Remember when we come back to it, keeping a nice straight arm backwards and then forwards and release. Trying to focus on how hard or how soft we throw it. So we're focusing on our weight control. This time we're going to do it over arm. So we're going to be sideways on, we're going to bring our arm up and bent, and we're going to bring it back and forward and throw down towards our target. So this time we're going to go for number one again. I'm going to have my other arm pointing towards the area where I'm throwing to, over arm and down. Pick up my next piece of equipment, number two and number three. So this time have a go at some over arm throwing reception. So pause the video and have a go. Off we go please. Well done reception. So think about it, if it's too difficult you can come closer to the pieces of paper and if it's too easy for your child at home we can move further away so this time what I want us to do is try and land our piece of equipment and it's got to try and stay on our area that we are throwing towards so if it rolls off it doesn't count so a little competition and you may be able to play with your brothers and sisters or your parents at home too so we can make it a little family event a little competition so we've got to try and land now on the piece of equipment so we may need to bounce it just before for it to stay on so mr cameron has got it half on half off there number two just off and number three Oh, he's just landed and he's bounced off. So the aim of this little activity now is to try and keep it on our target. So as you can see, the blue pair of socks are nearly on. Uh, the white teddy is nearly on, but my cheeky monkey for my teddy has bounced off, so that wouldn't count. So have a little go at this little activity now, please. Reception, underarm throwing. Great attempt so far, reception. So for our final activity for today is we are going to link in some math skills too and we can make a little family competition if we want. So what we're going to do is on your pieces of paper at the start I ask you to number them. So we've got number one, 
we've got number two and number three is just on the floor now if you're wanting to make it a little bit easier if we need the area bigger so the children can be successful we can merge pieces of paper together or we can put something bigger bigger area so that the child can be successful if it's too easy for our child children what we can do is we can fold it in half and we can make the target smaller or you may want to have some bigger ones or some smaller targets so we've just got to be as creative as we can for this little activity is you're going to put down them on the floor in any order it doesn't matter one two three if you want to add more numbers in you can and the aim of it is to have three attempts each and you're going to add up and we're going to use our math skills the total that you get so the aim really is to try and go for a, the biggest number three times if you can because that's the maximum amount of points that you can get so if i'm going to have a go and i'm going to play it safe to start with and i'm going to go for number two. Oh. Good, I just hit it, so that's two points to Mr. Kavner. I'm going to go for a, a number three. I've hit it, so that's five points in total. And I'm going to go for number three again. Oops, I've missed, so I will get zero points. And then we're asking the children to work on their math skills to try and add that total up. Then it may be the parents' score, and they can have a go, and we can get the children to add up their score, and we can have a little family table of points and rounds. So have a go at this please reception, work on our underarm, if you want to develop it you then can move on to the overarm that we've practiced and maybe create your own little games using our little um, activity today. So I hope you enjoy the lesson and I'll see you all very soon.